What's going on, Dream Squad? Welcome back to NBA Dream Rips. I'm your host, Matt, and in today's video, we're going to be kicking off episode one of our Mosaic series. As you know, Mosaic just recently released a couple weeks ago. They've been really hard to find all over the marketplace. They are definitely not in California yet, where I'm based out of. I've been to my local Walmart, uh, like the four local Walmarts around my t- in my town, multiple times in the last couple weeks, and there is no Mosaic. Um, I have uh, some reports from people, just people I'm trying to keep my ear to the ground with some blogs, Facebook saying that um, we probably won't get it here in California until the end of May. Not 100% sure on that, but either way, um, what you see here is all uh, product that I had to buy on the secondary market. And I did get a a deal on some of these, but I still had to pay more than retail value. So first, I I don't recommend paying more than 2x the retail cost. And uh, so in this first video, we're going to break down a couple of exactly what I have and what the series is going to look like, as well as I'm going to go through some of the mosaic details over on Cardboard Connections and get everybody kind of up to date on what to expect in the mosaic retail boxes. I currently have in my possession five mega boxes and three hanger boxes. Uh, I do have a few more blasters, megas, and silos coming in. They are not here yet. Once they get here, uh, they those will just get added to the series. Uh, the plan is to do one episode per mega box and um, one to two hangers per episode for the hanger box. And I may even do in a versus match, you know, a mega versus a hanger versus a blaster versus a silo. I may do a, a variety of uh, of the product for this year's 2019-20 uh, mosaic. And uh, just to start off, uh, just because I'm getting back in the game, I ordered this mosaic box here from 2017-2018 a couple weeks back. I broke into it on the live stream. So if you haven't checked out that live stream episode, go check it out in the archives. Pulled some really cool bangers out of 2017-18 here. But apparently this is what Mosaic used to be. It used to be Prism Mosaic, and I think this is how they were sold in this nice little small box. You got everything out of here was a mosaic. Um, I think the hits in this old box were uh, feature 100 card base set is what it was. You looked for green, red, and blue, orange base uh, mosaic. Then you had purple, camo, gold, and black numbered to 99. Then you had autographs numbered to 99 in those same variations. And so, um, yeah, I was able to pick this up on Amazon. I think I paid 160 It was not a cheap buy. Um, we did hit some bangers out of it, so go check out that live stream. But this is what Mosaic used to be. Now Mosaic is a standalone product, and I'm going to pull one of these hanger boxes down just to showcase it. So now Mosaic is just a standalone product. It's not tied to Donruss, it's not tied to Optic, it's not tied to Prism, and Prism is what it used to be tied to. It's now completely Mosaic. Uh, So right now this is obviously the hot product because it's out right now. Um, It's hard to find Prism, it's hard to find Optic, so hey, you know, we get what we get. And obviously everyone's chasing this, uh, this guy here, John Morant, Kobe, uh, Kobe White, and a few other of the top rookies, as well as all the, the special rare print parallels. So uh, before we head into the stats on what we're going to find in this mosaic, I want to go ahead and showcase two of my favorite cards in my collection. If you haven't been on the live streams, I pulled this bad boy a couple nights ago. Super excited about having this blue velocity Zion in my collection. Um, yeah, centering is a little off from left to right but everything else about this card is beautiful. Glad to be able to finally start using my Magbax with my rookie card on top. Got this guy heavily protected. Hands down, one of my favorite cards in my collection. Um, not my top 10, not my number one, but definitely top 10. Uh, another top 10 card in my collection is my very first uh, PSA Mint 9 and Luca rookie card. You guys know this if you've watched my previous episodes, if you've been in part of the Dream Squad for some time now. This is uh, one of my favorite top 10 cards. It's not my top one. Most of you know which one that is. Uh, but this is my uh, one of my top 10 cards. And I just really wanted to showcase it here. I purchased this on Macari for, I think, 85 bucks, And it's already selling uh, as of today. This is May 1st. I'm recording this episode. Um, this is already reselling at 125 and above. So Luca is the face. This is just a base Donruss. Um, with a little bit of like that that copper gold uh, copper foil here, um, but yeah, uh, my first PSA card ever and my first Luca Mint Nine 
rookie card that I purchased. Uh, super excited to have this in my collection. So I wanna give them some light. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull my computer out and we are gonna go through some statistics, not statistics, but the ins and outs of Mosaic and what to expect. And uh, if I bore you here, then um, I would suggest speeding up. Um, I'll try to timestamp when I actually start breaking into my first box. I think we're gonna do uh, one mega box tonight. So episode one, we're gonna kick it off with a mega box. Uh, well, let's do it after this. But I'm gonna read through the product details, kind of go through what to expect here in Mosaic. And uh, so, Panini Mosaic Basketball ditches the Prism name but retains all of its NBA shine. Uh, so the format, it's changed. It's all Mosaic by itself. Uh, the SRP is $120. Every hobby box offers one autograph and multiple parallels. So that's hobby. We don't have hobby. We have retail megas. Uh, so let's try to see if we can get down, down to some retail megas. This obviously here is going to be your base Mosaic um, inserts and sets. It's a Kendrick Nunn. We're obviously looking for, um, what is this one? This is a red, blue, and purple mosaic versions, gold, mosaic, black, and white. Then we have the first off the line ads of mosaic pink swirl number 11 and mosaic green swirl number 10. We don't have those. But I know what we're looking for is gonna be these genesises, right? So this is a base genesis right here of, of Zion. So we're definitely looking for those um, purple, Fast break boxes are gonna include silver, purple, blue, pink, gold, and black parallels. Choice boxes have exclusive mosaic, fusion red, black gold, nebula, and peacock versions. Um, the retail parallels to track down are gonna be our pink, fluorescent, reactive, and genesis in mega boxes. So we're really looking for those genesis in the mega boxes, along with blue fluorescent is in the multi-pack cellulose, the orange fluorescent in the blasters, and the camo in the multi-packs. Uh, moving on, we have some image variations in the hanger boxes, exclusive to the hanger boxes, image variations of top rookies. So those hanger boxes uh, is where we want to keep an eye out for the image variations of our rookies. Inserts combined to fall two per pack. Hobby only sets include center stage, in it to win it, overdrive, stained glass, and swagger. So we'll be looking for the hobby. Uh, that's what we'll be looking for in hobby. Um, didn't say anything about retail. Uh, here's our hobby box sign cards. That's what they're gonna look like. Then we have our autographs and rookie cards, mosaics for their parallels. I think this is all hobby. Then we have our fast break format here. These are gonna be our fast break formats. Uh, the estimated release date for hobby is uh, May 2020. So we're in May, so hopefully it comes out. And retail April 2020. So some of it's already released, but not across the nation. So it's harder to find in some places than others. The hobby configuration is 15 cards per pack, 10 packs per box, and 12 boxes per case. So let's look at the retail mega boxes. Um, so we have mosaic basketball mega box break. We're looking, there's gonna be one silver and one mosaic parallel, 10 exclusive mosaic parallels and seven inserts. Then we're looking at our blasters. There's gonna be four mosaic parallels with three inserts and our multi-packs are gonna have one mosaic parallel three camo pink parallels and one insert uh, doesn't say anything about the hanger box let me find the hanger box did i miss it i must have missed the hanger box i don't see the hanger box um, so yeah again here's some of the 300 it's a 300 card base set and uh, we got a ton of different colors uh, camo pink genesis green reactive blue reactive orange reactive reds uh, number to 99, purple to number to 49, orange fluorescence number to 25. We're obviously looking for the black one of one, the pink fluorescence to number 10, the green swirls to number 10. Um, and here's our base set of cards. Looks like it's in here. Our rookies. It looks like we're going to have 50 rookies. Yep, 50 rookies uh, collected. And then um, USA Basketball. I look very, I'm very interested in collecting all of the USA Basketball players. So we've got Kevin Durant, Charles Barkley, Patrick Ewing, Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, Scottie Pippen, Karl Malone, Vince Carter, D. Wade, and Stephen Curry. Um, so if any of you have these and you want to trade, please let me know in the comment section down below or DM me on Instagram at NBA Dream Rips. Definitely uh, work a trade out there. Uh, then we have our NBA debuts, our Hall of Fames, which I would love to see. Um, let's see, do we have no, no Akeem Olajuwon? So that, I'm just kind of stuck. Uh, kind of upset there's no Hakeem in this break. He's one of my top uh, players of all time. One of my favorite players of all time. Uh, same with MVPs. Doesn't look like I'm going to get an Hakeem Olajuwon at all uh, inside of the Hall of Fames. Um, 
or USA Basketball. So that's a little upsetting for me for this, this product. Um, but I will be keeping an eye out at all the top players. Um, let's see, in the base set, I don't think we're, you know, the base set's not going to have any Akeems, I can imagine. Right, they're all the current players. Yeah. So, that's all right. It's understood. Um, but here we go. This is a base image variation of, uh, of the Zion Williamson that we're looking for. We're looking for that red Pelly uniform with him passing the ball. We're going to be looking for those in our hobby boxes, or I mean our hanger boxes. Here are the rest of the variations. You're going to have a Jarrett Culver variation, a Kobe White variation, a P.J. Washington, Ja Morant, Jackson Hayes, Tyler Hero, R.J. Barrett, Rui Hichimura, Kendrick Nunn, DeAndre Hunter, Cam Reddish, Darius Garland, and Eric Pascal. So that's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's about 14 different variation rookies that we're going to get out of um, hanger boxes and of those players. Um, let's see, this autograph checklist. So it looks like there's 59 cards in the auto autograph checklist. Got a lot of big names out of here. Let's see if we can find a, a Hakeem Elijah one. I doubt we will only because he's not in anything else. Nope, yep, he's not in here. So no Hakeem, the dream Elijah one who, uh, but there is a Clyde Drexler, but it's a Portland Trails Blazer, so I'm not happy about that. Let's see, um, big names that I'm looking for for to collect for pair uh, for not only parallel cards but also autograph cards are going to be uh, let me go through them we're going to look at a Gary Payton um, a D Wade a these are just names that stand out to me that I really want to collect uh, Stephen Curry uh, Larry Bird Kevin Garnett Jason Kidd absolutely Jason Kidd add him to my collection Vince Carter Kevin Durant um, Hope, well, but he's a Brooklyn, so not uh, Kevin Durant OKC is what I would have liked to have. Uh, definitely want to put a Lonzo Ball. Uh, that's amazing. He made it in here. Uh, Giannis, Kyrie, uh, Clyde Drexler, Stevie Franchise, hands down. If I can pull a Stevie Franchise auto or parallel of that guy, he's one of my favorite Rockets of all time. Um, definitely uh, his career just didn't go off the way it should have. Um, favorite, good player. We've got Allen Iverson, huge guy. Uh, and yeah, pretty much it. And maybe even a Kevin McHale because he was a Houston uh, uh, Rockets coach, even though it'll be a Boston Celtics. Uh, obviously, we have our rookie autograph mosaic set, which about 40 cards included. So we have all the top rookies here. Um, I won't go through the list, but we're, we're definitely going for that Zion Williamson, uh, 01, RJ Barrett, Cam Reddish, Ty Jerome, Tyler Hero, Ja Morant. You know the big names. Um, here's kind of what they look like. So this looks like the orange, number to 25, Scripps. Um, got all of those in here. Rookie script autographs. Uh, these look pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here. We have the blue chip set list, mosaic parallels, white 25, gold 10, black 1 of 1. Um, so your 1 of 1s are going to be really hot, right? Cam Reddish, RJ Barrett, Tyler Hero, Jared Culver. Um, does it, Zion Williamson is number 8. Uh, John Morant's number 10. And uh, RJ Barrett was number 2. So we've got our center stage checklist. We got 30 cars in the center stage. Um, you got your give and go checklist, our got game checklist, and our in it to win it international men of mystery. Oh, there is. Okay, so we do have an international men's of mystery checklist, which is mosaic parallels. There is an Akeem Elijah one, so I look forward to finding that. I need to find out where uh, the international men of mystery where those are located. Uh, mosaic parallels base mosaic I need to find out which um, which box those are going to be out of because that's the one I want to have international men let's see if I can find international men for the inserts I don't think I'm going to find it that's all right let's see yep don't look, it doesn't look like I'm going to find those inserts not sure where it's at. Either way, I look forward to finding that Akeem. I got to figure out which product it's in. Okay, well there you have it. That's the uh, the basic rundown of 2019-20 Panini Mosaic basketball cards, uh, just from the card cardboard collection connection website. Uh, this is kind of the website that I use right now as I'm learning more about the hobby. Um, but let's go ahead and break into the first box. Uh, let's get this computer out of the way. 
and make sure um, to consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. We got a lot of banger giveaways going on daily on my live streams. Um, if you want to support the channel uh, any way form, you can uh, look in the description down below. I do have a Patreon account. Um, any tier you select is going to uh, provide you with some amazing value. Some of you are already Patreon members. Thank you very much. You're going to see this series before everyone else because I release all the good stuff. The, uh, the, the good series on Patreon first for the week before it goes to YouTube. Um, but like I said, we're going we're gonna to crack open Mega Box 1 for Episode 1 here and see what we can pull. Obviously, we're chasing Zions. It's the first time I've ever opened a Mega Box as well, just so you know. I've never opened a Mega Box um, from any other product. I just started back in the hobby about a month ago. Uh, the channel has already grown to 300 subscribers, so by the time you see this video, we might already be at 350 to 400. I've got a couple other big giveaways, uh, collaborations about to go down with a few other channels. So make sure you stick around um, for those, because those will release and drop very, very soon if they haven't already. Uh, go give uh, Run Good Life a quick sub if you haven't already. He's one of the top uh, YouTubers that I follow that um, we ran a dual giveaway together. So I'm definitely going to give him a shout out. But yeah, so here we go. So let's go over the box real quick before I get in. So we're going to have a 8 cards per pack, 10 packs, so a total of 80 cards. Uh, go ahead and take the code if you like to. Mosaic BK. Um, yeah, we got the cover boys, Zion Williamson on the front. Uh, looks like we're going to find one silver prism and one other mosaic prism per box on average, right? And then on the back is what we're going to is what we're going to get. So if you want a screenshot or pause right here so you can see what we're getting, I'll bring it a little closer, right? So we're looking for a lot of different number to ten, right? So we definitely want to look for these base mosaic pink fluorescence number to ten, um, these rookie script golds. So a lot of good stuff we can find in these mega boxes, right? Exclusive pink fluorescent mosaic, number to 10. So we're going to track down and chase down. So let's get these cards out. Let's stack them up. And uh, let's start cracking. The first uh, first crack into mosaic 2019-20. We're going to go ahead and get into this first box here. Put that off to the side. And see if we can hit some bangers. Um, you guys know I've hit a, quite a few good cards here on, this, on the channel. Um, that I hit that on this channel. I hit an orange cracked ice on the channel. Unfortunately, that orange cracked ice went to someone else. A little sour, but I'm over it. Um, let's see if we can uh, increase our luck here and uh, get a first look at these cards. So we have an Andre Drummond base card. So these are supposed to be compared to an optic or a prism. They are prism-like um, feel and touch. As you can tell, like these get uh, fingerprints really easy. Uh, some people are saying this is going to compete with Prism and Optic. I don't know. You know, let me know in the comment section down below what you think. Um, I do think they have that premium touch and that premium feel, like a Prism, like an Optic. So there's a good. It, we're going to decide whether or not we want to let this take over the Prism and Optic race. Uh, but there, there's room, right? And uh, I do think some of these cards that I've been seeing coming out from other people's boxes and uh, shows I've been watching. This is a very cool looking product. I'm glad I have it in my hands right now. So we've got a Daniel Thies, Boston Celtics. Started off with that Andre Drummond. These are all the base cards. We got New Orleans Pelicans, uh, Derek Favors. Then we're going to get into a Joe Harris Blue Reactive. I believe this is a Blue Reactive because of that design in the back. Uh, let me know if I'm wrong. I'm super excited. We just hit a banger Spud Webb Green. So this... Um, Joe Harris, I believe, is a blue reactive. Um, it's not just a base mosaic, it's a blue reactive. And as you guys know, I like to sleeve all the good cards. But these, all these cards, they're like a prism almost, so like they should all kind of be sleeved, to be honest. Like they're all glossy. Um, but I'm only going to really sleeve the really, really good ones. Uh, this Jam Masters card, I mean, is especially in this green mosaic, is so, so, so beautiful. And I look forward to collecting all the Jam Masters from all the different variations as well as players. Um, this reminds me of NBA Jam, uh, playing NBA Jam until 2 in the morning with my friends growing up. So definitely like that. So in my eyes, this is already better than Optic just from those inserts. We have our first rookie, Quindary Weatherspoon, base. We're hitting an NBA debut, Kendrick Nunn. 
which is not, it's the variation, it's the second variation, it's not the, the base. And then we're finishing off with a Luca Seminic. So we just hit three rookies in that first pack. So we're going to get these rookies sleeved up because they are rookies. And we don't know what their careers are going to do. So we definitely want to keep them protected at all times. Um, I mean, my fingerprints are all over this thing already. I'll have to go back and clean all of these. But um, I would have to say uh, these are some good looking cards. I love that silver background, that silver, that, the background that they have and the color that matches their jersey. So um, my initial thought, my initial look at these, I really like these. So um, if you don't mind, know my piles, I'm kind of like Pac-Man. I love how he has the three piles. We're going to do highlights, base, and everything else. Um, so yeah, that's what that's my setup. All right. That was pack number one. We hit three rookies there on the back. Pack number one, I think that may be the setup for each of these packs as we get rookies in the back. Yep, I think so. So our next card up is going to be a Dwight Powell, another Joe Harris. We have a Clint Capella, and because he's in his Houston Rockets gear, he will go to the, um, the hits, the highlights, because that's I collect everything. Then we have another blue reactive Steven Adams, followed by a base... Russell Westbrook, oh my God, I love this so much. This is amazing. It's not the parallel of it, it's just the base, but it is a Houston Rocket Russell Westbrook, and I'm very fond of this style card. Um, just by just these cards alone already make this better than Optic in my eyes. So we'll put him to the side. We'll get Steven Adams sleeved up because he is a blue reactive. I believe that's what I'm calling this correctly, a blue reactive. Let me know if I'm wrong. I'll know more as I continue to break. And then, of course, the USA set I was talking about earlier, another really good-looking, yeah, just those things, this is, yeah, it's like prism. It really is. Look at those fingerprints. Barely touching it. So I'm going to have to come back and um, clean all of these off. This is so embarrassing in a way. But either way, uh, Magic Johnson's are hits for me because I'm keeping all of those. Uh, and actually, I should probably... No, I'll leave that in the middle for highlights. Or for everything else. Then we have our Kai Bowman, first rookie. Then we hit a Giannis MVP. And I hear these MVP Giannises are, are very popular right now. So we're going to get him sleeved up. Put him down as a hit. And we have our rookie card of Kai Bowman. So in that second pack, we had... A, it looks like an insert, rookie insert is where the first pack we had three rookies. So, all right, moving on to pack number two. Yeah, so far, uh, really, really impressed with how premium these cards look and feel. Very prism-like um, and optic-like, you know, very glossy, very slippery. And, uh, you know, some people may knock the design. I like the, the cool design in the back, very simple for each player. Um, but I'm really enjoying the inserts and the way the prisms look. So we got Nicholas Batoon, got a Gorgon Dragic. Then our blue reactive is going to be a rookie, Jarrett Culver. So there we go. We hit our first blue reactive, Jarrett Culver, rookie card. Very nice to have a rookie card. So we'll put that off to the side as a hit. Non numbered, but that's okay. We're going to start back over with our will to win, Dame Lillard. I believe this is just the base will to win of Dame Lillard. Then we're going to hit our Nasir Little. NBA debut of Cam Reddish. And our Cameron Johnson at the end. So we do hit the three rookies in this pack. No Zion sighting, no John Morant sighting, no Kobe White sighting yet. Man, yeah, these, these catch dust real fast. So let's go ahead and get that sleeved up. Get this Cam Reddish NBA debut sleeved up. And I may be glossing over some of the variations. I'll have to go back and relook at the set list again to see if we're hitting any of the variations. I doubt we are because it said hanger boxes only, not mega boxes. So um, I doubt that there's any variations right now, but let's see if we can pull some Zion and Jaw. We've still got a ton of packs left. We hit an Anthony Davis base, which I hear is going for quite a bit. So I'm gonna put that as a hit. Same with the Giannis base. Looks like we got a Larry Nance Jr. base. Our first blue reactive is going to be our Ja Moore rant. Let's go. I wish I could yell, but I can't. It's super late right now. 
Look at this card. This card looks so sexy. It is a NBA debut, but it looks so pretty. But this is going to be our blue reactive, I believe. Let's go ahead and get him sleeved up. So we got our first John Morant sighting, and I'll tell you right now, these cards look sexy. So anybody, um, I think I think they have a chance to compete with Optic. Definitely have a chance to compete with Optic, hands down. Uh, Prism, maybe, maybe not. Uh, definitely got to see the rest of the variations, the rest of the parallels. But this John Morant is definitely looking sexy right now. Um, let's go ahead and sleeve up these other two as well. The knocking cards down over here. Give me a second. We'll, not, we'll go ahead and get this uh, rookie season of Anthony Davis in his base Laker uniform. And then, of course, right now, Giannis is hot no matter what you pull. And if you can pull his base, it's always good to have. So we got to keep him sleeved up. Man, these cards, the fingerprints on these cards come out really fast. Okay, now we get into our will to win. And in this case, this is the silver parallel of the will to win. So we just hit our first will to win silver parallel base, non-numbered, but it is a prism. And it is a silver, so we will get him sleeved up for now. Very nice silver of Anthony Davis. Then we have our first Hall of Fame, Don, uh, Dom, Dominique Wilkins. We have a rookie of Zion. So in the same pack, we hit Zion base, a Zion base, wow, and a J John Morant NBA debut. And I think I've seen that actually on a few different channels. So I kind of I didn't really remember my remind myself, but man, I want to get this. I want to get all these marks off of Zion and get him um, protected all the way. Um, but this is a good looking card. I don't know about you. It's a very good looking card. We'll get him fully protected here in a little bit. But for right now, let's get him right so we can finish this video. We still have a few packs to go through. But starting off the series, episode one, we already have a Ja Morant and a base Zion Williamson uh, sighting. That's amazing. I can't be more happy right now. Then to end it off, we do hit an NBA debut of Darius Garland. So not a bad card, not a bad rookie. It is that NBA debut, though. So there you have it um, in terms of that those first few sets. We still have one, two, three, four, five, six packs to go, people. And we already hit a Zion and Jaw. So I wonder if this entire mega box is going to be loaded for us. We have our DJ Augustine. We have our Victor Oladipo. We have a Robert Covington. Our blue reactive is going to be Andre Drummond. So we actually have the base Andre Drummond. So now we have another parallel of Andre Drummond. Then we have a will to win, Carl Anthony Towns. Our rookie of Bruno Fernando. Our, yep, red, white, and blue of Patrick Ewing. And a Kobe White in the black jersey. Love it. So we'll go ahead and get him sleeved up. So that's another big hit. So this box is this box is filled with a ton of goodies, a ton of good rookies. And this is a base Kobe White. So now all we're really missing for the top three uh, rookies right now in the league is a base John Morant. So we're already hitting big. Um, obviously, these Patrick Ewing, it's a red, white, and blue. Love that red, white, and blue. Looks sexy. And we'll get this Bruno. Um, and we'll get the we'll get the Bruno and the Andre Drummond sleeved up because it is a blue reactive, and we want to keep these nice and protected. Plus, I have probably like ten two thousand freaking sleeves, penny sleeves that I ordered, so I've got plenty of sleeves. So I should never be worried about running out of sleeves right now. But super excited, already hitting bangers. Leave a like on this video if you think I'm hitting bangers in the first episode. Patreon members are definitely getting um, the first look at this. They're going to be excited. So we have our first uh, base Kawhi Leonard. Kevin Love in that blue Cleveland Uni. It's not a bad color. I wish the background matched that blue, though. I really love blue. Then we, ha then we have our Matthias Teibel. I'm sorry, our Wesley Matthews, base rookie. Our blue reactive is a non-rookie Garrison uh, Grayson Allen, which um, you know if somebody really wants this card. Let me know. I'm not even going to sleeve it up. 
he doesn't really deserve a sleeve. I think uh, he's got the talent, but his attitude and his ethics on the court just aren't there, so unfortunate for him. Uh, we have our first silver. It looks like it's upside down. This is the first time that's happened. So we have our Thomas Staderansky, and I hear the silvers are a little bit harder to come by, the base silvers, non-numbered. Uh, so I don't think it's too much of a hit because it's a no-namer, uh, but we'll put him down. Getting into our back set, we hit our Kevin Porter Jr. as our first rookie base. We hit a Hall of Fame, Larry Bird. Not a bad-looking card there with that green and silver. Then we finished off with a Keldon Johnson. So let's go ahead and get these rookies protected. Get those protected out of the way. Not bad, not bad looking rookies. Again, Cleveland in that blue uni, I would really love this background, this, this cut here to be in that same light blue. That would really look really, really good. Um, Hall of Famer is of Larry Bird, so we gotta get the Hall of Famer sleeved up. Larry Bird, come on now, we can't disrespect Bird like that. Okay, moving on, we've still got four packs left. So far, my initial impression on these cards, they are beautiful. Rodney Hood, Norman Powell, Davis Bertans, our blue reactive is going to be a USA Vince Carter parallel. Yes, baby, let's go. That is my man. VC, loved watching him in the dunk contests growing up, loving watching him in the USA games, uh, Olympic games, dunking over people. This is definitely a hit in my book, and it's a parallel of the USA inserts that I'm collecting, so it's a hit in my book. Next up is we have good old Scotty Pippen in this new old school insert, so this is the first time I get to see it in hand. It has this mosaic uh, stained glass background with the 8-bit Scotty Pippen down here at the bottom. I think that's a cool looking card. Um, I'm not a Scotty Pippen fan. But I do know with the whole Last Dance coming out recently that a lot of his stock has gone up in price. Won't consider it a, a highlight hit, but a, a good looking insert. Moving on to our rookies, we have our Brandon Clark, NBA debut. We have our Ignis Brezdiskis, and our Hall of Famer is gonna be Patrick Ewan. So um, Patrick Ewan, not a fan. Uh, he's a New York Nick, great player, good center. Um, loved uh, the matchups between him and Akeem Olajuwon in the early 90s, uh, mid 90s, and uh, early 2000s. Uh, I will sleeve them just only because someone may want to buy this from me or trade because they are a New York Knicks fan, and uh, they're just these are just too nice of cards, really. Uh, so I should probably be sleeving all the inserts, the bases not so much. All right, down the final three packs for episode one of our mega boxes. So we're gonna lead off with this uh, third to the last pack, Jalen Brown. We have our Langston Galloway. Like I said, they're very they're very slippery, just like a prism and an optic. So I think they're gonna compete. Then we have our Gary Harris. Then we did not hit a rookie. We hit a Ricky Rubio blue refractive. We have our got game of Giannis, so it's good to have some more Giannis inserts. We'll get him sleeved up. We hit an MVP Steph Curry, super excited to have that. Then we're gonna hit our rookie base Seiko Demboye. Nice card, and it looks like we got another NBA debut of DeAndre Hunter. So let's go ahead and get this Seiko Demboye sleeved up. As our rookie, we'll get the rest of the rookies and those other inserts because those are inserts that I will be keeping. There are hits in my book, especially that Stephen Curry. MVP Stephen Curry. Nice looking card. Uh, we got the Got Game of Giannis, which is always good to hit Giannis. Even though it is an insert, we will put them off to the side. Um, those are gonna be hits in that, in that pack. All of them for me. They're gonna be highlights for sure. Um, the Ricky Rubio, not so much, but we will get them sleeved because there is a Ricky Rubio fan somewhere in the world that wants this, and it's still a good looking card. All right, Mega Box One has done us good. Leave a comment down below if you think so. Stick around to the end, because I will be giving away one of these cards. I'll give you guys an option to win some cards, so make sure you, if you haven't stuck around already, keep sticking around. We've got Damian Lillard, Gordon Hayward, 
We've got a Thomas Bryant. Then we've got our Kobe, uh, Cody Martin Blue Refractive. So he pulled another rookie. Another rookie. So we're going to set the stack down. Ooh, and you guys are going to be excited about the next card. We got our base Blue Reactive Cody Martin. So a nice hit. Decent rookie. Nothing too crazy. Put him over there on our highlight pile. Next, I'm just going to pick this one up from here because I'm just going to go straight into a sleeve. So we have our insert, base insert of LeBron James. I know it's just an insert. It's not his base card, but guess what? It is a LeBron James, and we got to respect the GOAT, one of the many GOATs of our era, of my lifetime, that I get to see play. Um, we'll get him sleeved up. Um, then we're going to get into our final three of the pack, which is a rookie base Dylan Windler. Then we have our Shaquille O'Neal Hall of Fame. Great card for me to hit. I like some Shaquille O'Neal. And our rookie of Nicholas Claxton. So we'll get all of these sleeved up. The Shaquille O'Neal is someone I'm collecting. So it goes on my highlight. I'm also collecting Nicholas Claxton. So I'll put him in my highlight. But I am not uh, too focused or have any stock in Dylan Windler. Winlard, so it'll stay right in the middle. Okay, final pack. Can we get final pack mojo? Can we get another Zion? I mean, we hit all the... Uh, we're, the only person we're really missing right now, the big name um, big name rookie, is, a, is an R.J. Barrett. So we really need... If we can hit an R.J. Barrett to complete the, 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 the cycle here, that would be great. So we got a Joe Inglis, Jared Allen, Fur, Furkan Korkmaz, Fur, Kirkham Forkmas. We don't have a rookie here. It is just going to be a Dwight Powell blue reactive. We did hit a silver Montrez Harrell, which I heard these silvers are hard to come by. Next up is our NBA debut of Rui Hichimura, so that's a decent rookie to hit. Looks like we have another rookie, Nikhil Alexander-Walker. So he is a Pelly, but not the right Pelly. And then we have a Carl Malone USA. And only because I'm collecting all the USA base sets, the rainbow set, Everything with it is why it goes in the highlight. Um, I haven't watched too much of Neil, Neil Alexander Walker, Nikhil Alexander Walker, so I'm not sure how, how good he's going to be. Um, so he's not a hit for me, um, but I will put him in the, uh, the, the everything else pile for now. He is a rookie, base rookie card. It's a nice looking base rookie card, by the way. We'll get this NBA Rui Hichimura sleeved up. Um, I'm, I'm, actually, I'm actually becoming really fond of this kid. Uh, I haven't watched enough basketball this year. Obviously, the season ended to, to see. I've seen some highlights, but I think he might be a sleeper. Um, but for now, he's just going to go in the middle. Um, same with these two here. I, I, you know, Montrez Harrell, I was really upset when the Rockets got rid of him. I think he was a stand-up player, stand-up. I mean, I think he's going to be a star in the future. Uh, too bad it's not a rookie card. It's just a silver. Um, and then a Dwight Powell. So... Blue Reactive Dwight Powell's are always good to hit, but not my highlight. So, all right, there you have it. Let's do a, a quick recap. We have our base, which is, you know, very shiny and glossy of some players here. If there's players you see here that um, that you collect that, you know, I'll, I'm really going to, uh, I don't mind trading, selling, or sending your way for my Patreon members. And, uh, but yeah, there's some really good cards in here. And again, these are very prism-like. Um, remember, they used to be prism. Prism Mosaic. Now they're just Mosaic. So I think this this uh, product will compete with Optic for sure. It may not take over Prism. It may not take over Prism, but it should, for sure will, in my eyes, compete with Optic. I haven't been around the game long enough, but I do know ripping tons of Optic, ripping ripping tons of Prism already. Um, this is definitely going to compete with Optic, hands down. Maybe not so much Prism, but what I love about this is these inserts. These inserts look really good. So we've got our Dwight Howell, Montrez Harrell, some rookie card inserts. We'll get all of these separated at the end. Some Hall of Fame, um, some decent decent rookies, um, bases, some really good looking silver mosaic here. Uh, Grayson Allen, which I'm not going to sleep because I really don't care about that kid. I, I, I just... Just a bad guy in the league. We've got our Patrick Ewing, which I don't know why I didn't put that here because that is a red, white, and blue for our American team. Will to win. Some more uh, Darius Garland, Hall of Famer, Dominique Wilkins, uh, Cam Johnson, Cam Reddish, Nasir Little, Dame Lillard, 
Brown, Magic Johnson. That should have put him over there as well. Luca, Kendrick Nunn is probably a hit. I should probably put him over here, but I'll keep him here for now. And then, of course, our NBA Jam, which I should have put there as well. Because those are all my highlights. I'm keeping Those are my cards that I'm keeping. That's just the everything else pile. Now, let's go over and reevaluate our hits of the night. And I'll put them all... Try to get them all. Let me take them off camera real quick. Because we hit some bangers. We hit some bangers in episode one. You know, most most of them are for my personal collection. But some of these are actual massive bangers uh, that everybody wants, that everybody's going to want in their collection. So we did it in Mega Box 1. It's crazy. So here we go. So obviously I'm keeping the, I'm loving the NBA Jam mosaics and that insert just by itself. So I'm going to collect all of these. Then we have our Magic Johnson, red, white, and blue. You know, just look at those three right there, just next to each other. Really good looking clean cards. Not a fan of Carmelone or Patrick Ewing, but they are in the USA team. So I got to respect the, the, the team, respect what they did. Then we have some, you know, base rookies that I'm collecting. We have our Shaquille O'Neal Hall of Fame. We have a blue reactive rookie card, so always to good to get the blue reactive um, rookie card mosaics. Base mosaic, our base uh, rookies for Seiko, good. Then we have our Got Game of Giannis, our MVP of Stephen Curry, DeAndre Hunter, NBA debut. Um, another really good looking red, white, and blue, but this is the parallel variation of Vince Carter, the blue um, reactive. Then we have our silver mosaic will to win. I wonder if that was numbered. I don't think it is. If it is, I don't see it here on the... It's not. Yeah, either way. Good looking card there. Then we had our base Giannis and a base Anthony Davis. A Jarrett Culver blue reactive rookie card. Always good to have. A base MVP insert. Another Jam Masters with Russell Westbrook, and you guys know I collect uh, Houston Rockets, so that's a good-looking card to add to my Houston Rockets collection. We have our base Clint, Clint Capella. Upset he didn't pan out. You guys know that already, but he's a Rocket jersey in a Rockets jersey. Now let's get on to the highlights. Can we ask for anything better than what we got, right? We've got a Got Game insert of LeBron James. Always good to have some LeBron James in his Laker uniform rookie season. We hit a top three rookie base insert or base card of Kobe White. Come on now, we're already winning. Then we top it off with a base insert of Zion Williamson. Get out of here! First mega box in, we already have the top three rookie sightings, and we finish it off with a blue reactive NBA debut of Ja Morant. Um, wow, I, I cannot wait to break into the rest of this product. Um, if I'm going to hit bangers like this, I am on a roll. Hopefully none of these came from the same case. Either way, let me know in the description down below which one was your favorite hit of mine. Now let me uh, pick out a couple cards to, to do a giveaway with. So we'll put these off to the side and we'll put, pick a few cards out of this middle stack for a giveaway. So let's do the... Let's see, let me go through here. Let me do a quick glance and see what I can put up for grabs. And you guys can put down in the description which card you wanna win. So let's do, let's do a Kendrick Nunn NBA debut. Let's do the silver Montrez Harrell. Heard the silvers are hard to come by. And let's do the Blue Reactive Ricky Rubio. All right, so there you have it. These are the three cards you have a chance to win. So leave a comment. The way to win these, one of these three cards is leave a comment down below and name which card you want to win. Ricky Rubio, Montrez Harrell, or Kendrick Nunn. And uh, must be a subscriber to the channel. Like the video. And uh, yeah, um, I'll get back to you. Uh, with the next uh, the next series, uh, we'll be picking my winners in my announcement videos. So keep an eye out for my announcement videos when I pick my winners. Uh, but yeah, thanks for stopping by. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, consider subscribing. I know this was a long video, but hey, I did a little bit of a. The next ones will be a lot shorter because I won't be doing the full mosaic recap in the beginning. And uh, yeah, share share the channel with as many people as you can. 
Uh, got some amazing stuff here, amazing giveaways. This is just one part of a giveaway. We've got tons of live stream giveaways as well. Uh, if you haven't become a Patreon member already, click in the description down below. Check out what it takes to become a Patreon member and all the goodies that come along with it. I love your faces. I appreciate your time and attention being here. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.